Hello viewers, my name is Femi Adibli, they call me Fejus Baba. No, our name is Femi Adibli. Okay, call our us name is Fejus Femi Adibli. You welcome to this channel. Please endeavor to click the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to get notified of our new release content. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <music> is not locked. Why are you up so early? I think today is your midterm break in school. Yes, uncle. Why are you up so early too? Huh. I've been preparing some documents that will be needed in the office this morning. You look sad and fearful. What is the problem? Uncle. I have those terrible dreams and nightmares again. In fact, this time around, it came in two episodes. Episode one and two. <laughs> two episodes? Episode one and two. <laughs> ah! Caleb, you are this your dangerous comedy dreams. What is the dream all about this time? Again, what kind of questions is that? Time for your usual comment and beating. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! What have I done again? Nothing. You have signed a contract of torment, beating, and suffering with my fathers. <laughs> Me sign contracts. When? I don't even know your father. Look, I'm not here to exchange work with you. I'm here to do my assignment. Ah, uh, I'm Vinny. Thank God you know. <laughs> Please, it's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Ah, wonderful. What is wonderful in that terrible dream? <laughs> is it wonderful? Keep enjoying. Ah, Uncle. Kill him. Uncle, that's not all. I had another dream too. Episode two.
Is that a question? You know what I'm here for. So don't waste for that time. Give me that food. <laughs> what is this? This is not the granty. And if you decide not to give me that food, I will smart you with this my rod. <laughs> of these devilish dreams in the last two weeks. Wow, nice one, nice one. Nice one? Yes. This is not a nice one, it's a bad one. Uncle, see, this is a serious matter. Yeah, you see, Caleb, I see you enjoying your master. That's his game. My master? How do you mean? You see, Caleb, we all dream, as human beings, we are bound to have diverse type of dreams. I have dreams too, only that I don't have this type of your comedy, episodic, season theme dreams that you have, your dangerous devilish dreams. Because I am <laughs> born again in my own case, so I don't have such dreams. I'm born again too. I wonder why I should be having those terrible dreams. You? Yes. Caleb? I'm born again? Oh, <laughs> call that crap. You are not born again. I'm born again. I have given my life to Jesus. And he died for me. No! Caleb, you can't be born again. Ah. I am born again. I'm a Christian. No! You are not. I am born again. Caleb! Yes. Born again? Yes. Okay. Okay. Caleb, how much is the textbook you said a guy came to sell in your school a few weeks ago? The English textbook? Mm -hmm. It's 3,500. 3,500. Caleb, 3,500 Naira? You see? The guy that came to your school to sell those textbooks was my good classmate. He came to me asking me to help him see how his textbook would get to secondary schools. So I phoned your principal and recommended him to your school. So I knew the price before it got to your school. The book was sold for just a thousand naira. You see, lying and stealing confirmed. Caleb! Look at it. Where did you get it? Caleb! I got this 
from the breast pocket of your school uniform suit when I was trying to help you wash it last week. Caleb, this is secret. Caleb, you smoke. I mean, I can't, I can't just get to, to imagine that you smoke. You smoke cigarettes, you smoke India, eh? And the Caleb is born again. Caleb! Ah. I found it. Look at it. Can you see? Your teacher found this letter lying carelessly in your classroom after school hours. She gave the letter to me, telling me that she was sure that you wrote it. Owing to the fact that you have written many letters like that to who ladies in the class. In addition that you run after ladies, you woo them in multiples, a great womanizer, Okobiri. Hmm? Even if you cannot write a correct English essay, even if you find it difficult to have a credit in English language, but you can sit down and write a very good argumentative narrative essay to who guess? Caleb! Uncle, don't bring out anything again. I have given my life to Jesus Christ. And I believe he died for me. And I have been born again forever. But you are still committing those sins you claim to have forsaken when you give your life to Jesus Christ. You are still doing what he hates. So, Caleb, if you have been born again before, you are backslidden now. You have to be born again, again. Read this Bible in the book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 9. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. For his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. You see? Whosoever is born again will not commit sin, does not commit sin. The seed remains in him or her, and he cannot sin because he's born again. Uncle, I am not born again. I still commit many sins, but I thought grace covers it all. It's not your fault. That's the sign of the end time. Caleb, that is a type of new bad experience that people carry about now. That's a type of plastic Christianity that people carry about. They claim to be born again. They still commit fornication and adultery. They claim to be born again, children of God. But they still change figures in their company. They still go after sugar daddies and sugar mummies. Jesus, help me. That is it. Kill it. A broken spirit and a contrite act. God will not despise. God will not despise. Whosoever is born again cannot, does not, must not commit sin. Let me pray for you. Say after me. My Lord Jesus. My Lord Jesus. I know I am sinner. And I know I need to be born again. Come to my life. I confess and forsake my sins. Again, you show pity and torment. Ah, you 
make me laugh. I thank God for bringing you to me for a revenge. I am no more the one you used to know before. I am a brand new guy. Look at me from head to toe and see the power shining from inside out. Wait, where are you going? Your father who sent you must know who I am now. So therefore, in Jesus' name I command, give me that key. Give me. I'm back again. Come and eat. <laughs> you also, you are welcome. You've come to give me food, Abby. As usual, bring that food. <laughs> what can I do for this man? Okay. Listen to me. I command you in the name of Jesus. The name that is more than any other name. Begin to eat that food. Be fast, be fast. I'm sorry, you are wasting my time. Be fast. Yes, sir. Eat all these your damn rich food. Uh, listen to me. Tell your father or whoever sent you not to come back here again because I am born again, again. And listen again. I am warning you. I am warning you. If you come back here again, you will be a finished business. <laughs> Idiots. Cha cha la cha. Yes. Uncle Tom. Caleb. Good morning. I had earlier checked in your room. I discovered you were still resting, so I don't want to disturb your rest. What's the problem? I have those terrible dreams and nightmares again. <sighs> but this time around, it was a revenge mission. <laughs> Victorious. Really? We bless God. You see, I've always told you that once you are born again, the devil has no thing to do with your life again. He cannot play any dangerous game with you. He doesn't play dangerous game with children of God. I did children of God. Wow, congratulations. Thank you, dearest. <laughs> You're welcome. The devil is an idiot. Cha cha rakacha. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 